people perverts and fucking haters it's candy it's been a hot fucking minute and today we're going to do a boxy charm unboxing never trust the big but the smile that girl is month of BoxyCharm for me. Last month I felt was better than the previous month, but something that I want to do um, from here on out is, and I think I might have done the first video a little bit, but from here on out I just want to kind of talk about the products that I got in the last month. Real, real, real quick, it's not going to be long at all, like just a minute or two girl, I'm going to keep it, but I just want to kind of talk about it because when we unbox things we might be really excited about it and then once we use them we're kind of like eh, but then someone might go buy something because we was really excited about it and they're going to be like eh, and they're going to be like oh I thought you really liked like this you get it right so basically what I want to get at is a few products that I did get last month really 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 quick I want to tell you that this hair um, conditioner this leave-in conditioner is great I love it love it love it I definitely will be purchasing this um, this primer that I got as like a referral gift or whatever it's uh, it's a little bit greasy I'm wearing it today I'm not wearing anything else with it just primer and a little bit of highlight blush or whatever but what I'm getting at is like um when I use like foundation on it or even a BB cream or something uh, just the, the mixture isn't very good and it's like I said it's a little bit it makes me feel greasy this lipstick I just I have a Jeffree Star one that's really close in color and this one didn't dry down really really good so I haven't used them I'm gonna hand that off to one of my friends and then the, obviously that eyeliner that broke last week girl or last month girl that was so out of control and then we have these two left so we have the Tatcha face mask which I thought was fucking heavenly I made my face feel and look so so good afterwards I got two of them I still have one left and I definitely recommend that and then we have this Tarte palette that I was really 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 excited about but I want to tell you guys it's kind of a letdown that's why I kind of wanted to come here and talk about this it's kind of a letdown because as you can see if you look in here really good hopefully it'll focus there um, I had to like I use that much on my eyes today and you can't you that's it's 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 definitely very 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 sheer very natural I actually am really not feeling my makeup today but I wanted to be here showing you like exactly kind of what it does I used the darkest color on my lid today and like blended it out kind of with my fingers um, like three or four layers and then I said fuck it because it didn't look very good and um, I grabbed these two and kind of just smeared them together and put it everywhere and then I use um, this one as a highlighter as a highlighter it works pretty nice it's not too bad as a highlighter so that's probably what I would use this for or if I have some like granola friend that would really love it um, you're welcome to it okay so first off if you don't know basically Boxy Charms 21 ish dollars a month for me and you get four to five full size products in your box um, it's supposed to be worth over a hundred dollars so I look at it like you know if there's something in the box I would have spent twenty dollars on anyhow the rest of it is kind of like for free whether it's I use it or give it away or whatever so let's get into this box all right what is this month you know it's gonna be it says afterglow that's this month there I see a Too Faced thing already on the top if you want to see what I'm gonna get you can pause it and look right there I'm not going to look I am gonna put this down here though so I can look at it so let's open it up this is what it looks like when you open it up I see a lip plumper thing in there already and I just bought a lip plumper the lip, lip a lip plumper the other day because I was at the salon and uh, I didn't have any lipstick in my purse that's crazy or anything in my purse gloss so I ran over to Target and bought like a I don't remember what it was uh soap and glory or whatever I cannot believe this I can y'all anybody that knows me knows my least favorite mascara ever is everybody's favorite it, and I really feel like maybe I didn't give it a like a good enough chance I just went and bought the benefit they're real like this last fucking week or two because I need a new mascara and I didn't really that's been my favorite for years besides the Mac Hot Naughty everybody what I'm gonna everybody in unison say what you're gonna recommend what are you gonna recommend yep I knew it. Every single one of you are going to recommend this Too Faced Better Than Sex fucking mascara that I think, I just don't think it's, I just don't think it's all it's hyped up to be. I'm not going to open it because once you open it, it does give the air. I was going to say I was going to open it, but you have 12 months from when you open it or whatever the date, it, the, the container date is on it. So I don't want to open it quite yet, um, but uh, it's a full size one. So for all of y'all that love fucking Too Faced Better Than Sex, it's in this month's box. This mascara retails at approximately $24. The next thing is this single pan, what do you
what is this? It's a highlighter. Actually, it's a highlighter. I thought it was an eyeshadow, but it's a highlighter. Uh, the packaging's really mm, cheapy, cute, cheapy. Like, my niece would like this. You know, my 12-year-old niece, probably. So, uh, let's open her up. I can't even really get her open. Well, how, how does she open, girl? Okay. Technical difficulties. I mean, honestly, girl. Oh, okay. Man, that was probably on me, because now it's like... I don't know what I was on. I don't really don't know what drug I was on. Uh, it's really pretty. It's called uh, Shimmering Swan. If you can see it, swatch. Oh, it's really soft. Yeah, it's nice. I don't know if the camera will pick that up or not. It's cute. It's cute. Very light. Very very light. Like I said, my 12 year old niece. What does it say about it? Um. Girl, and they went $32 for this? Uh, nope. All right, so next we have this Grande Lips Hydro Plump Liquid Lipstick. It's a semi-matte river clay, kind of a brownish. It's a plumping liquid lipstick semi-matte. Hmm, okay, girl. Uh, I've never heard of this brand before. Have you guys ever heard of this brand? What does it say about it? It says that it retails at $25. Semi-matte lipstick. Oh my God, it's gonna go in the floor. Utilizes key active ingredients and high whatever acid to give your lips an instant plump with three to five minutes, within three to five minutes. It provides long-term hydrating benefits and the long wear formula ensures color is locked in. Wear it all day without cracking, drying, or stripping the lips of their natural moisture. Retails at $25. I hope so, girl, because everything I have lately has been a crack on my lips, girl. It's got a, not a bad, so I hate this kind of foot. Uh, there's another company that uses this little kind of fucking wand. I don't, I won't, I already know I won't like this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and next. Okay, so next up we have this primer that's got this whole weird funky ass name girl, but basically it is um, something to help with your pores and your wrinkles, a nice little, I wish I hadn't had this other primer on um, to put under, I guess under your makeup or just to kind of put on your face for a nice glow. And it says, has green tea and collagen in it, uh, and holds your, your makeup on tight, so yeah, it goes under your makeup. And it uh, retails at about $18. I'm, excited, I'm really excited to try this actually, that's my like, that's my good thing in this package so far. I guess you guys would say, what? Yeah, that fucking better than sex fucking mascara. I know. All right, and then last in the box, but not least, we have these Tula. These are really fucking nice in this like container, girl. Kind of like bougie, girl. Uh, probiotic skincare, bright all night, energizing sheet masks. There's two masks in each of these. So you're gonna get four masks. These are really, really nice. This would be nice to send a gift to one of my friends or something, but yeah, this is really, really nice. It's another one of those Hannibal Lecter masks, but girl, I'm really here for it. Let's read real quick on this one. Has anybody ever heard? I think I've heard of the Tula brand, right? It says, Tula's bright all night energizing sheet mask is your new pre-party ritual, girl. This holographic sheet mask combines probiotics and skin superfoods to give your skin that lights up a room. I love some fucking glowing skin, don't you, girl? So this uh, retails at $24. So when you add them all up, we've got 24, 24, which is a 48. We've got another 32, which makes us at 80. Then we, is that right? Is that right? I think it is. And then we got another 18, which puts us at 98, and then another 25, which puts us over the top. So girl, I feel like we definitely got our money's worth here. These masks, I feel like this primer's gonna be good. And as you guys are gonna tell me, yep. You heard here. So that's all I have for you today, guys. Do you get Boxy Charm? Did you get this month Boxy Charm? What did you think about it? I know one of you guys signed up. Thank you so much. I forgot who it was. Thank you so much. If you guys would like to sign up, I will leave my link below so I can get my little charms and all of that, girl. And maybe we could get a little like product like this. Just hopefully it's not as oily. But there's always something for somebody. If it doesn't work for me, it'll probably work for you and vice versa. That's what's so cool about all of this is like I said, you get one product. You can also try things to see how it is. I can tell you how many times I've tried something in a store and it's literally like just not worked out and you paid full price for it. You know what I'm saying? Anyhow, I love most of you guys so, so much. And until next time, just be real with each other because nobody likes a fake fucking asshole. Mwah. Bye guys. Never trust a big button, smile, that girl is